Darren Marlins after Bashley won Yate Town 2. Darren, a tough game, but three points, and that's five wins out of five now. Yeah, I think the result is, is the most important thing. It's another good win, uh, you know, a tough fixture, but you know, we come home with the three points and I think in spells and times in the game, we were we were good. Um, we probably had a good 20, 25 minutes in the first half where I thought we were really good and probably could have turned the screw a little bit then to go and get the second. And then second half, I don't think we really come out of the traps and they, they got a little bit of a foothold in the game, um, made it difficult for us. And I think... In that moment in the game, they, they managed to go and get their goal. And I think they had one was just offside as well, which was a close call. And, you know, we could have found ourselves in a bit of trouble. But yeah, I think the last 25 minutes, we, we changed the shape a little bit. And, and the bodies that come on had, had another, another good impact. And yeah, we, we kept plugging away and we managed to get a, what was a, a good goal and, and a winner in the end. Oh, it's nice to see Will Larvin get off onto the score sheet. And after his goal, Will Christopher, for the, sec- for the second week running, had a goal disallowed at uh, I thought was all right, but uh, the referee thought there was an infringement just prior to him striking the ball. Yeah, yeah. First of all, you know, it was great for for Will to get off the mark. He, he was a bit like a striker at that moment. He was a bit of a fox in a box. The ball dropped to him, and it was a really good finish. So yeah, pleased for him to get his first goal. And and like you said, I think Will Christopher. I need to watch it back by from where we stood, and like you just said, from where you were, it looked like a, a perfectly good goal, and it was a fantastic finish. So a little bit unlucky for him, but you know, he's getting himself in the right places, and I'm sure. I'm sure that um, you get a bit more luck in the, in the coming weeks. Well, you won't want to make it three weeks out of three next week and have another one disallowed. Um, they did come on strongly in the second half and uh, you, you weathered the storm quite, really quite well at the end. And then you made some two very, very good substitutions. Yeah, look, we said all along is, is about the lads coming on to make an impact. You know, we, we just made the changes we see from the side, but they came on and, you know, they've had to be patient. We, we've said that at the moment. They've had to kind of wait their turn and when they come on, show us what they can do. And we, we all know what they can do when they come on. But yeah, really pleased for them. I'm really pleased that, you know, they're, they're coming on, making an impact. And especially for Ryan, he's he's not had you know many minutes. You know, he, he played the first game at Tavistock and then we changed a little bit. So he's had to be really patient. Um, but for him to come on and he, you know, he shows some some really fantastic feet in, in the corner and sets up the goal. I was I was really pleased for him um, and I, I, it's from the celebrations you can see the rest of the team were as well. So yeah, it was another real team effort. It, you know, bank holiday weekends are tough. Two games in really close succession and you really want to focus on the first game you play. But it's always on the back of your mind that you know the next game coming up. So we'll have to utilise the squad. We've said that um, in in these games. But um, yeah, it's a really really pleasing weekend. I think. You know, it, the game was probably made more difficult by some of the decisions made by the officials today. And I, I don't often like to talk about it, but it had a ma- major impact. And there were some really strange decisions and not just for against us. It was against, you know, Bashley probably felt a little bit hard hard done by as well. But yeah, we felt like we were fighting. We were a little bit up against it in, in two, two camps today. But um, yeah, just really pleased. Positive result. Um, we move on to Monday. Yeah, I mean, Ryan Hillier was right next to me when he uh, on the byline. A t- tremendous skill. And to set up um, Lucas Tomlinson, who's now scored in every game as well. Yeah, it's, like you said, a f- fantastic piece of skill. He's got that in his locker, uh, for sure. And then to set up Lucas, I think that's that's five and five now. And he's, yeah, he's going about his business, you know, really well. He's he's getting chances. He's also creates a lot. Um, so it's not just about the goals for him, but at the moment he's popping up in the, in the right areas at the right time. So, yeah, long may that continue. And uh, day off tomorrow, obviously, time to relax and uh, recuperate. And it's back to it on Monday. And it'll be Males are the top on goal difference, then Yates a, a second and uh, Exmouth a third. So it's second versus third. So hopefully that'll attract a big crowd, especially with you know not, no EFL games, no Bristol Rovers, Bristol City. And uh, hopefully many will come down here. Yeah, fingers crossed that they do. It's that we've had a great start to the season and it'd be great to, to see, you know, we actually had many home games um, just to do with the Cups and a few other bits and, and Bob. So it'd be great to see all the fans here. Um, hopefully the weather picks up a little bit. It was a never, never rainy one today. But um, yeah, just be great to see everyone here. Uh, if we can pull a, a big crowd in, it would be fantastic. And yeah, it, you know, like I said many, many times, it's really important. It helps the players a lot. So um, yeah, if you can come down to, to come and support us, that would be fantastic. And the weather is going to be all right. I've looked at the weather forecast because virtually every game, apart from last Saturday, we've had rain. But uh, yeah, we'll look for that. And well done for, t- for today. And let's hope it's, it's a, another t- three points on uh, Monday. Yeah, fingers crossed there's another three points and uh, we can carry on this, this good runner form. Thanks, Darren. Thanks a lot. Cheers, Bob.